five, four, three. Welcome to Peacekeeper Reaction. My name is Nathan, and I'm here to say I like to get down in an old school way. <coughs> God, why do I have to cough? That 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 would have been really cool. But I blew it, you guys. But I, I, I fear not. I know that uh, the Swifties aren't here to judge me. What are you, Judge Judy? Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I never know what I'm going to say when I start an episode. It just comes to me like magic. And you're probably wondering, well, you're a magical person. And I must agree with that, you guys. And I'm very excited. I wasn't even going to be filming today, but... Uh, I was going to have the day off, you know, I was going to maybe uh, go to Bed Bath & Beyond and uh, uh, have a nice little Saturday, you know, but then I realized it's Monday. So uh, I thought I better instead uh, grab some alcohol and uh, ring up my Swifties um, and say hello. So Swift, please. How are you guys doing? Come on, let me hear it. Oh, really? Well, that's very interesting. Uh, now, moving along. <laughs> uh, so, um, this is very exciting. Um, we're going to be continuing our look at the Reputation Tour. Is it tour or tour? I, you know, I can never uh, figure that out. Anyways, um, I am going to be watching the video... Uh, from the official Netflix release, but I, I feel uncomfortable putting that on YouTube. I know I don't want to mess around with uh, Biss Swift's copyrights, so I'm going to be taking video from um, uh, one of the uh, fan edits on YouTube uh, and putting that in its place. So that's what you guys will see, but I want you to know I am watching the netflix release um so that i get all those amazing uh cinematography um and uh so i just want you to know that sometimes some person one person not some person a person had said well uh correct me if i'm wrong but isn't that video from netflix but yeah so they must have done something with it i'm just uncomfortable putting netflix property onto youtube myself i just you know i've had uh uh some you know i have uh some what doctors call a little bit of a copyright issue and uh you know i don't want to lose this channel um but that could happen very well uh youtube could delete me in the middle of the night so if you guys want to stay on top um of uh peacekeeper reaction the best uh, thing to do is to go to the patreon uh patreon.com slash peacekeeper reaction you know you don't all the videos are, are free uh you know so don't think i'm trying to grift you here or ask for anything but if you do want to support the channel that's the best way to do it as well so um i'm very excited it looks like um we're going to be checking out a song called king of my heart um, so I just want to say, this sounds very exciting. Who is the king of Taylor's heart? I mean, who could tame that wild beast? Speaking of heart, I don't know if you guys uh, want to know this, but when I was a young man, I had a heart problem, um, and I actually had my heart replaced with a baboon's heart. So that's cool. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're not here to talk about my heart or your heart or anyone's heart except Taylor Swift's heart. So let's uh, let's check this out. Uh, uh, this concert is very, very or very interesting. So we just what, what did we watch? What was the last one? Was it the one with the snake and stuff? And it was all hissing. And it was like and and Taylor Swift was like bam. You know, uh, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> let's dive right in. King of my heart, my heart, my heart, quit playing king of my heart. You know, it's funny, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I um, am um, Jordan from New Kids on the Block. Um, um, so hello, how are you? 
Step one, we can have lots of fun. Step two, it's just me and you. Step three, I'll give you some D. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I wish I didn't say that. Uh, cut that part out, you guys. Uh, anyways, let's dive right in. This is T Swift on Peacekeeper.
right, you guys. King of my heart by Taylor Swift on Peacekeeper. And that was a lot of fun to watch. Um, uh, it went a different route than I was expecting when it first started because... Who hasn't said this to themselves? Trust me. I've heard it from a lot of people. I've said it a lot myself. You know this. I'm perfectly fine on my own. You know what? Uh, before I get into a relationship, I got to learn to love me before I can love you. Or, you know, uh, you know, I'm not really looking for a relationship. I'm more just kind of working on myself these days. <laughs> uh, we've all said it. In fact... I even probably sent that message to somebody from Plenty of Fish not even two days ago. <laughs> uh, uh, Plenty of Fish, by the way. Am I right, guys? Wow. Um, anyways, um, then you... when it, it, it's, it's almost insane. When you're not looking, that's when you'll find the king of your heart. Am I right? Like, that's when, when you're res resigned... I don't know if that's the right word. Guys, I'm not a fucking uh, English major. I'm an English minor. Hello, I like mining then. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, whatever someone's like, you know, I'm not really interested for me anyway. It's like, you know what? I love being single. Oh, man. Single? ready to mingle i don't want to be in a relationship again nobody can hold me down and then it's like that night you'll meet someone and you're like you know what i, I think i'm ready to give it another go <laughs> uh but uh i love this this is very uh reminiscent uh there was this um european um pop star who had a song called jungle drum maybe i'll show it on the channel here because i would love to hear that actually and i'm drinking and i could do whatever the f i want you guys um but uh it's kind of reminiscent of that that jungle drum you know and it's funny taylor swift must have watched imagine dragons up there hitting his big drum and been like Hold my beer, please. <laughs> but uh, uh, I really like this. Again, um, something that uh, if you told me uh, just like a year ago that I would love, love, love uh, watching dancing, I would have said, hey, shut up. You're crazy. Get out of here. But uh, I do. I love watching dancing. And Taylor's funny because I don't think it's her... Um, God, what like her her comfort zone, maybe like, you know what I mean? She does it and she's good. And obviously she's beautiful Taylor Swift. So it looks nice. But like, I wonder, like in her head, if she's like, oh, I feel a bit silly. Like, <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, I mean, I can only imagine. Could you imagine you guys uh, close your eyes and imagine this? You know, you're on stage. Could you imagine all those fucking eyes? looking at you uh man that must be so such a head fuck and such a, a crazy thing to get used to you know um it's funny uh on the last episode of t swift that we just did someone in the comments said you know i should be a comedian but you know i i i i tried that once and uh i didn't do well on stage and i can still in my head feel those eyes on me as i said things that didn't make them laugh <laughs> at all and uh um so i can only imagine how like you uh, i don't know just being in a stadium this huge huge concert and all those eyes on you um it's got to be one of the biggest uh like mind fucks in history or her story and uh, I just, uh, I love this. So uh, that's exactly what I needed to go with my alcoholic beverage and my spliff. And uh, I would love to hear uh, from you guys. So what we're going to do right now, because uh, I would, the, on the last talk in Tay Tay with Nene, um, I realized that I can't keep up with the comments that I want to, but I want to... Uh, let you guys know that your comments do not go unknown or unseen like uh so i thought it, what it would be fun to do is to every time we do a t-swift video to check the some of the comments from the previous uh videos hold on i gotta catch my breath i don't know why i'm all worked up <laughs> okay hold on and three all right let's all just take a breath <laughs> uh so i i but i you know you guys take the time and i want you to know i read 
every comment and, and you guys are so uh lovely and 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 nice um and and everything sugar and spice so uh what did we do last time we did the um end game okay we've got some comments in there i'm gonna bring it up and uh we'll talk about them all right violet says um the music video has future and ed sheeran and is really good ed sheeran so i know he's a chinja bloke from a jolly old england is he the guy from harry potter no that's a different red-headed chinja right um and then midlife uh mom fan replied to that that said, yes, I'm sure you'll enjoy the MV, which is short for music video, um, when you get to the rep area. And I, I'm going to, even if we do these songs on this thing and then there's a video, I want to take it all in. Um, uh, Bobby RW. Okay, so this is interesting, you guys. Um, in this um, video, I asked people to yeah, tell me heartbreak stories because I had mentioned Star Spangler, my first love. And oh my God, I have a news about Star Spangler. I can't fucking believe it. Uh, stay tuned for that. No, I'm not going to tease it. Obviously, no one gives a shit. <laughs> but uh, uh, so right when I dropped this Taylor Swift Endgame video, um, who shows up in my email? Star Spangler. I know. I'm like, what the fuck? Why would uh, it's been fucking years? Why would she email me? But um, uh, we had um, um, shot a short film, a zombie film, with uh, her son, and uh, I had made it private on the online because you know I don't you know whatever. Uh, oh shit! Hold on a sec. So I made it private. So she had emailed me and said, "Hey, do you have that?" Um, <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> it's called infection and, uh, uh, video still, I was thinking about it the other day. So her kid must be like, uh, almost 20 now. Um, so I was like, yeah. And, uh, oh, I'm such an idiot, you guys. <laughs> so, uh, because we've been doing this and it, it, it's so weird to get an email from somebody like that, that you haven't talked to in forever. Right. And then, and all, and, and then it, I got in my feels again. And fuck, okay, here, I'll read it, and you guys can tell me if I'm a stupid idiot, like I think I am, probably. God, I'm so weak. I lost this interaction. You know what I mean? The best thing would have been to not fucking reply at all. Then I would be the winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? You don't want to be the person who says the last thing, right? Th that's fucking bogus. Like, if your ex texts you, the, you should just fucking send a middle finger emoji or a fucking, uh, you know what I mean? You don't want to be like, oh, uh, like I did. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Let's, let's talk about this, you guys. <laughs> uh, where is it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I can't believe I'm sharing this. Where is it? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. So she said, um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Then there's previous emails that we had anyways. So the last time <clears throat> she emailed me, um, is, uh, she said, uh, cause my, my best friend, um, passed away. Um, and, uh, it was a very hard time. Um, and, uh, let's not talk about that, but she, she had emailed me Thursday, 2019, February 28th and said, uh, I don't know if this is still your email or not. I just heard about Jeremy. So very sad hugs to you. And I said, and this is, you know, I said, thanks. I appreciate that. That's it. Because I don't want to, like, what am I going to do? Like, I did later. Like, uh, anyways. Like, um, uh, thank you. I miss you, by the way. <laughs> anyways. So then, uh, no contact for 2019, 2020, 21, 22, 23. Five years. Uh, then she said, uh... Three days ago. Hey, did you take infection off YouTube? LOL. 
uh, was thinking about it tonight and tried to find it. And uh, I responded, no, I just made it private. I'll undo that and send you a link. And by the way, it's in the, this YouTube channel. You can find it. Uh, it's one of the videos. And you can see the Star Spangler. She's in it. Um, and my dog Leia is in it too. Um, anyways, and then I said, uh, I, I, yeah, I said I made it private because like, you know, who wants to fucking watch that? Uh, it's horrible. And I said, I'll undo it, like make it public again and send you a link. And then I sent the link and then she replied, thank you. Right. And that should be the end of it. You just walk away. You're the cool guy. But no, I'm a horse's batoot. And what did I say? I says, I says, you are welcome. I hope you are doing well. Ugh, such a stupid. I feel real terrible that we aren't friends anymore. Um, I'm sorry about how everything went. And you know what? She wins this because she didn't respond to that. Why wouldn't you respond? Makes no sense, but because she's conscious, she probably has a new boyfriend, you know? He's probably fucking sucks or whatever, but, uh, you know, like, he's probably already given her trouble about asking me for the video that we made. He's probably, like, all jealous and shit how sexy and cool I am. And, uh, you know, I just uh, play by my own rules. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I lost. So that was two days ago with no response. So obviously, I should have just said you are welcome or not even responded at all. I should have just said, fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't say that. But uh, I lost this interaction. Like, to, to be like, oh, I hope you're doing well. I feel like a fucking idiot. God. Anyways, so that was uh, an update, a Star Spangler <laughs> update. So what I was kind of worried about was since that video was on the this channel, this new channel, that she would uh, start watching the videos and realize I've been talking about her to you, the Swifties. And then, I don't know, uh, just realized that me even talking about this to you guys, I've lost again. I should just be like, who? Star Spangler? I don't even know her. Who is this chick? I don't remember. Or, oh, yeah, you're holding me hostage over a chick I don't even remember. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so I, I had talked about Star Spangler, and I said, hey, leave me your stories of heartbreak, and only one person did, uh, and that's uh, our, our man Bobby Dubs. Or R dubs, Bobby R W says, uh, my story of heartbreak is a little different than yours. Hey Casey, I'm Casey Casey. Dear Casey, my story of heartbreak is a little different than yours. I met the love of my life in high school. We cat and moused our romance for two years before finally getting married. What? That was 1969. It was the summer of 69. Oh, yeah. Uh, but our romance never died until one day seven years ago. Oh, my God. What? She did Bobby. Oh, my God, brother. I'm so fucking sorry. that I've, I wish I had read this in advance because... Uh, um, that's fucking terrible. Our heart, our thoughts and prayers are out to you. Devastation, total heartbreak, the kind that forever alters your life. You know, I don't have, uh, that experience, but I do have the experience, like I said, of losing my, uh, my best friend, my heterosexual life mate, Jeremy. Um, he passed away from the, uh, you know, opioid, uh, epidemic, uh, an epidemic I had no idea about until, um, it hit so very close to home. So I do feel like, even though I, I had never lost a love or a wife or a, ki or a kid, God forbid, um, I do know what it's like to lose somebody who is so intertwined into your life. Like, you know, I, I can't walk around my neighborhood without seeing a place that me and Jeremy hung out at. And uh, um, it's almost like they, they, they kind of are still around. So, oh, man. Uh, our heart uh, goes out to you um, And um, Yeah Wow I, I fucking don't know what to say now uh, So let's just end this And uh, We've got a couple more videos to shoot Let's get our mind off of this 
sadness and get it uh, into uh, happiness, we're going to need a total palate cleanser. So let's dive right into that. For Peacekeeper, I'm Nathan. Play safe. I can put my arm back on. Zip the doodle, zip the day. Let me tell you what I hear most people say. I'm not on Quilu or no hallucinogen. Never ran, never will, never gone, never went. You're just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Looking sexy, sexy with that big old butt. For my mother, does I guess you would say I'm the champ. Like your mother went to jail for selling fake food stamps. I'm the original man with the material. I eat Captain Crunch on fruit loop cereal. Saw this freak in the middle of the swamp. I used to live in.